Hey, what's going on guys? Kel Mike with TheEasiestBusiness.com uh, here to talk to you today about bidding some cabinets. Uh, so what we want to talk about today is bidding cabinets. Do you bid them by the linear footage, which some people do, or do you bid them by uh, the door and drawer opening, which is what I like to do. Today, um, we're going to do the math on where you would need to be on each one to be where I like to be when it comes to bidding the project. I'm going to show you how much I like to charge, what products I use and stuff like that, which you should already know because I have a video on my channel titled uh, The Best Paint for Cabinets. Go watch that. See the products I use. Those are premium products. They're very expensive. Um, you're usually going to spend anywhere from $750 to $1,000 on a set of uh, cabinets for just the material. When I talk about material, I'm talking about just the paint. Um, so it's pretty expensive, um, especially if things are going two tones, you got to order more paint, uh, something like that. So you're probably around 750 bucks for your average cabinet uh, job, average kitchen size. But if you're going two tone, you might be around 1000 thousand, eleven hundred bucks. So uh, keeping that in mind, I do charge a little bit more uh, than probably somebody that's going to use emerald urethane, which I do not recommend. So let's just jump right into the math. So uh, cabinets linear foot or per door drawer how should you price well that depends on uh, where you want to be how you want to do things what's easier for you um, for me it's easier just to count up doors and drawers um, this includes false fronts drawers that won't open um, you know one in the same so i charge every uh, opening as a door or a drawer and i charge the same i don't charge 75 bucks for a door and 115 bucks for a drawer I like to charge 125 to 150 dollars uh, per opening, regardless. If you really wanted to be, um, you know, specific about it, you could do 150 for the door, 125 for the drawer. I don't do it. I just do all one price. I take a look at the job. If it's got a bunch of uh, nail holes to fill, if, if it's got a bunch of gaps to caulk, things like that. If it's bare wood, it's going to be a little bit more aggravating. If it needs, if if it's if it's a somebody that came in and rolled the rolled the kitchen and you're spraying over it. I always spray. I never roll anything, but I always spray. Um, if I'm having to spray over somebody's work that had did a terrible job before five years ago, and I'm have to do extra sanding, extra prep work, I'm more toward the $150 range. So you can kind of choose what's best for you. You don't have to follow these numbers. It's just this is just kind of what I do. So lend your foot or per door or drawer. So I did this personally. I took notes in my phone. I measured my cabinets out there, uh, and we're going to compare the two. So I have them right here in the notes section of my phone. Um, my cabinets were 51 linear feet, 51 linear feet, and they contain 25 uh, doors and drawers. Like I said, I count them all the same. So with our handy dandy calculator here, uh, if we take 25, let me get to my calculator. If we take 25 and we multiply it by 125, we're looking at 3150, that's labor and material included, or 3125 rather. And then if we do at 150, a door and drawer, times 25, we're looking at 37.50. So as a solo one-man operation, this is what I'm charging uh, to paint somebody's kitchen cabinets. Uh, this is to make them look like glass, same between every coat, hang up plastic, spray, um, three coats, primer and two top coats uh, on the kitchen cabinets, on the boxes. I'm not rolling anything, I'm using premium products. That's a pretty good deal to me. I'll spend a thousand bucks in material um, and I'll make 2,500, 2,700 bucks in a week worth of work. It will take me a full week by myself. I can do the boxes usually in a day if they're the same color. I can get three coats on the boxes in a day, um, primer and two top coats, and then the, the do doors and drawers take me a little bit longer. I take them off site, spray them. You gotta wait for them a little while, usually eight hours to flip them. Uh, just to be super safe, I mean, you can really scratch test it at four or five hours and they'll be fine. Um, but to flip them over and spray three coats, I usually try to wait at least a day. So I'll spray all the fronts, flip them the next day, spray all the backs, let them dry, let them dry an additional day, transport them over so they don't get nicked and scratched and then hang them up. So that's where I would be on this. Um, I do not price like this. You can if you want to. I know people who do it like that, um, but I'm kind of trying to figure out uh, where you should be uh, in regards to 51 linear foot. So I'm going to take my total here at 3750, 3750 divided by 51 linear feet. Um, that's $73.50. It's $73.52. So we're, let's just go 70, 73.53 a foot. And let's get the low end. Um, 31.25 divided by 51. You're at 61.28. 
So 6128 or 7353 a linear foot um, for cabinets uh, for the same process here. And you're going to get this. You're obviously going to get with these numbers. You're going to you should get about the same numbers. It may be a little bit different because of the the cents don't uh, go all the way um, to make whole numbers like this. But this should be about the same price here. You may be a dollar off on on each side or whatever. But you get the picture, right? So with that being said. Um, to be honest, when I look at this, that honestly looks like a more reasonable number when you're talking to a client who doesn't know anything about the trade, right? So when you go on site and you say, hey, um, I charge $62 a linear foot for cabinets. That sounds a lot better than I'm charging $125 to $150 uh, on opening for your cabinets. This sounds way more expensive than this, but you actually come out with the same number. So I may actually have to start doing this when I do cabinet jobs in the future, right? I would be even be comfortable to say, hey, I charge um, 85 bucks or 80 bucks, let's say 85 bucks, you know, a linear foot. And where if you go back in here and do the math, 85 bucks times 51, now you're getting 4,000. That's a three, not four. I also need to uh, get my whiteboard more sturdy for when I write on it. I only have it secured by one screw here. But now you're at 4,335. Um, but initially in the conversation, when you're doing the salesman part of the trade, uh, where you go and you meet the customer, you, you can't really teach the human element. You relate to these people. Um, you make them want to choose you. I've went on bids before where people say, we really like you. Uh, we had two or three more bids scheduled, but uh, we're actually going to cancel those. We're just going to go with you because I'm not the most unreasonable price. I'm a, I'm a reasonable price painter, in my opinion. Um, they see that. They see that I look out for their best interest. I give them all the information I have up front. I ask all the right questions uh, to secure the job, and they've actually canceled uh, other appointments because they met me first. And that's kind of the sales aspect of the job, right? Like you're not really a salesman, but how you present yourself on an estimate. Uh, if you look like a bum, if you talk like a bum, you're not going to get the job. So professionalism is a big part of our jobs, even though a lot of people don't seem to think so. So I may have to actually start doing this. So the question, which is better, pricing it per opening or pricing it per linear foot? Um, I honestly think pricing it per linear foot is better, um, which I didn't think that. I, I didn't do any prior research to this video. Um, I just know how people do it. I do it this way, but I know people that do it this way. And this is my first time filming this video. Um, you know, if I make a mistake in the video, if I, I make a speaking error or something like that, I don't go back and re-record the whole video if I don't have to, if it's just a small mistake. If not, I try to do these things in one go. I don't have a script. I don't have any notes. You know, I don't edit parts in. I don't stop here, start talking here. This is all pretty much one take. Um, so I honestly did not expect that. That kind of blows my mind. I think linear foot is actually the way to go because when you're presenting the total price, when you say, hey, this is what I charge to give you a, a general idea, uh, I know the final number definitely matters, um, but I think it's an easier path to get them here to this final number, if that makes sense. Um, I think they're less likely to back out once you get them here, even if these are the same number. So you may find some resistance here, is what I'm trying to say. If you say, hey, I charge 150 bucks an opening, they may immediately say no, without even doing the math. Um, but if you come in here and say, hey, uh, I need to measure your kitchen cabinets, that gets you in front of the client. And then this right here says, hey, man, I charge 75 bucks a linear foot. That sounds way better. That's half the number that 150 is. So psychologically, they're more likely to stay with you in the sales process uh, until you get down here to the final number. And you're, you're still gonna have people that say, no, that's too expensive and that's fine. At that point, I just say, hey, maybe I'm not your guy, right? So um, in my opinion, I think I'm gonna have to start pricing jobs like this uh, when I do, you know, do cabinet jobs right now. So I'm rarely doing anything right now paint related. Um, I do have a small job to do tomorrow, but this is probably one or two jobs a month um, that I'm dealing with. So, but when I do, I think linear footage is the way to go not per opening. So that actually changed my mind doing this video as well. I hope it brought you a new perspective. Go to theeasiestbusiness.com, get your free proposal template. Um, I'm thinking about doing a webinar to teach the Blueprint Reading course. I've had a few sign up for it. I've, I've coached quite a few people since I launched the website. I really love doing that, but I'm thinking of doing the course half off and then just doing like a six to eight hour course uh, during the course of a day. If I can get like 10 people to sign up, um, I'll cut the price of the, of the, of the course in half um, from 1500 bucks to 750 bucks and we'll do a full eight hour day uh, on a Zoom call or something like that where, you know, I at least have 10, 15 people in there with me um, asking questions, doing like a live session. If you guys are interested in that, let me know in the comments. 
Uh, but until next time, uh, subscribe to the channel. Let me know what you thought. And until next time, peace out, guys.